had a gift of music. Balborg Bobby Olive Moore. My husband, Michael, was asked to share some last moments he spent with her. What can one say with the loss of a mother? A loss of a grandmother, a great-grandmother, and an aunt. During these last moments with Gigi, I was forced to remember the loss of my own mother. The many, so I thought, unresolved issues and unanswered questions. But as time went on, I grew closer to the Lord. The issues and questions were less. Until I came to realization, she wasn't perfect. So she didn't always get it right or make the right decisions. But that was okay. And I'm a better person for it. During this time, Gigi had moments when it was difficult for her to breathe. After a bit, I grabbed her hand and prayed a simple prayer. Lord, be it your will that she stays with us or you take her to be with you. Either way, she doesn't have to suffer anymore. Moments later, a lady came into the room to check on her. I remember wondering, who is she and why is she here? She noticed the difficult time she was having breathing and mentioned she would talk to the doctor about some medication for her. Medication was given and her breathing was eased. It always brought a smile to my face to receive a dollar on my birthday and a pair of socks from her on Christmas. One last thing I would like to share. One of her great-grandson's class visited the nursing home during the holidays. He came home and told me he looked for Gigi today. But she wasn't there. I reminded him she was in heaven and wasn't there anymore. He said, I know, but I looked for it anyway. I have fond memories of my mother, and we all have fond memories of Gigi from children to great-grandchildren to nieces and nephews. I remember the hum, this is for me personally. I remember the holiday dinners and snacks after school. I remember the Christmas chest and trying to find out what she got us. I remember New Year's Eve nights watching the ball drop and banging pots and pans at midnight. I remember the special hours of her favorite shows, Price is Right, All My Children, and Murder, She Wrote. I remember getting scolded while thinking her finger was going to go off like a bang because <laughs> she would shake it. I remember her enjoying being able to entertain us all with her music. But most of all, I remember her telling stories and playing solitaire while drinking her coffee and smoking her cigarettes. We love you, Grandma, and we cheers to you. Cheers to Mother. She's a better woman than I was. No wonder she's dead. kill you. I said, why didn't we buy a bottle early times like she used to drink? Now do you smash it? No. If anybody would like a sip, we got a couple glasses. Oh, yeah. You should say something. You're closer to mother than almost anybody. I've heard enough here. That that I can't top that. Yeah, but she knows how I feel. Yeah. She knows how I feel. I, there isn't, there's nothing left really to say. You said it all, in my opinion, because I ad identify with everything you said. I've seen it all, just mm -hmm. like you said. You, you know. know, I think anybody that's with somebody that dies, and even if they're not related or close, like Michael was, you know, it takes you to your own, your own time of grief. <coughs> Michael lost his mother in 1996, so she's been gone for 12, 12 years, June 20th, this month. And so, you know, it's, we always kind of do something for her every year to um, celebrate her life, but this really meant a lot that you all wanted him to share something about Grandma. Well, he was so gentle with her. My, 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 my way of handling Mother was to forgive her for everything that maybe yeah. she would yeah, have done. I on. never once uh, had any feelings that would, that would have been animosity towards things that she did. I just forgave her every time. Mm -hmm. And I just looked at the good part. Mm -hmm. Shane probably had a, you know, all of my kids were fortunate because they grew up around her. Shane had a little extra special connection with her. He'd go sit at the table and he would tell her things he wouldn't dare tell me. Or I mean, he just didn't want to tell me. <laughs> but um, what amazed me is the day he came over when she was sick 
and she came out, kind of a little bit of a in and out state, and told him how handsome he was, and told him that, remember, I'll always love you. So she knew something. Yeah, I think they know. That the, yeah. I think you know, yeah. they get a special piece. And yeah, they, they know. Yeah. Shane, do you have anything you have, want to share or anything? Heather said it all. Okay. And be the same memories. The last time that I saw her, she did the same thing. She, we, we said goodbye inside of her room in her wheelchair. We walked out in the hallway, and she came out and <laughs> waved at us. She did on the porch. She'd yeah. come out. Yeah. She'd wave. She'd wave till you were completely out of sight. Out of sight. Yeah. Out of sight. She you wanted five to make girls. Hold your hold your glasses up. I want to get a picture of you five girls. You luscious. I got the. Shane, <laughs> <laughs> okay, move over. Shane, okay, move over. That's okay. I got her. Oh, okay. Okay, I think I turned my head, but...